It's your boy Jay, aka Real Talk Jeffa, with another session today with none other than Mr. George Sarpon. Obviously, you all know me as Jeffrey Sarpon, probably as the footballer or as the speaker, but I will be no one without the person next to me. We're gonna learn a lot, I'm gonna learn a lot, I'm gonna ask questions that I probably never asked before. Welcome, Dad. Come on, Good to have you. Yeah. Nice and um, yeah, like I said, like I said, um, obviously people know me yeah. um, from TV or from you know news from football, but I think it's right that people should get to know who the father, uh, who the father is and uh, who you know raised me, who brought me, who brought me up, who you know coached me, mentored me. So I'm gonna ask you a lot of questions, um, probably questions that you know some I've been asked before. So, and obviously, if you have questions for me, you can ask too. Um, but yeah, I think you know it's good to have a, a real talk um, and to to learn um, about life, um, to have uh, some of your wisdom, uh, not just for me but for the people. Exactly. Yeah. So the first question I have, I I always find that question the toughest. Who is George Sarpong? Like, who are you? Uh, George Sapon is uh, a guy who really came to this country uh, years by 1986. And uh, I come from Ghana, uh, from a small town called Akimaseni. And um, as long uh, as well, when I was growing up as a kid, uh, I was somebody who really had an interest more in education. Mm -hmm. And I was very versatile because I could play football. Mm -hmm. I was athletic. I was uh, uh, in in school car, secondary school car, and I was very good academically. So, mm -hmm. all right. Just happen is somebody who is a versatile guy, and mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself. And up to now, I'm still. I still have my uh, ideology as a, a quiet guy and uh, very cool. Mm -hmm. And more conserved with my kids. Yeah, yeah. So you're very, you're very laid back, low key person. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And obviously, you said you were born in Asane, in in in, in Ghana. In Ghana. Yeah. Um, who raised you up? Were you raised with your father and mother, or? No, I was how? raised. I was raised up by my grandma. Okay. The reason was that when I was quite a young boy, I was not so healthy. So my mother gave me to my grandma okay. to raise me up okay. so that because he had other siblings mm -hmm. so that he could attend to them so so how was that like to be raised i really up? enjoyed my life yeah. because i had almost everything and uh, I, I didn't have anybody control me mm. it was only with my grandma in the house okay that time my mom has traveled with my dad and the other siblings my, my, my father was a chief mm -hmm. so he used to have uh, <clears throat> a lot of land at various places. Mm -hmm. So you go with my mother and yeah. cultivate, and he has to take the other siblings with them. Okay. Yeah. So were you, the, you said you were the only one she was raising up? Yeah. So, so what age did you live? Till when I went to secondary school. Okay. So I was raised up exactly by my grandma. Okay. So you said you, you were good at a lot of things. Yeah. So what did you want to become what did you want to become when you was a, a young child? Initially, what was your like? Because I was very good in mathematics. Yeah, yeah. You know, in, in Ghana, every you know, we, we, it's not like here where teachers choose for them. Yeah. You know? But with your intellect, you you try to, you rather perceive by yourself what you become. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be either a doctor or engineer. Mm -hmm. You see, that and most of the kids also. The, I always hear that like the African parents, they always want their kids to no, be either. No, my not my parents. Okay, it's my myself because okay. I I was very good academically. I was very good mm -hmm. in all aspects. Yeah. You see, so I wanted to be a doctor or engineer, but not a lawyer. Okay. but when I grew up, I knew that I could have been a lawyer because I'm very vocal, vibrant, and yeah. eloquent. In okay. so eventually. As far as I know, you did not become an engineer. I did not become yeah, a doctor. You did not become a doctor. Yeah, I, I, so, I, so did your did your dream or goal shift during a certain? It, it didn't shift. Go. It didn't. 
okay, let me see. It shifted because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I, in Ghana, life was a bit difficult as compared to uh, Europe. Mm-hmm. So when you don't get the right push, mm-hmm. you see, financially, mm-hmm. you, you really cannot get to your goals. Though in Form 1, in Ghana, when you are in uh, Form 1, you make an, uh, exams, mm-hmm. and 1 to 10, you get a best degree. Mm-hmm. And I fell w- w- within that. I was uh, fifth in position mm-hmm. out of 109, I can't remember. So, so okay. I, I knew that uh, I could be, uh, be a, a, a doctor or yeah. engineer because I was quite good academically. And what happened along the way, sir, was uh, when I went to form up to three, uh, my, my, my mother was paying the bills mm-hmm. because you have to pay some extra bills. Mm-hmm. But the life was a bit difficult for her, so she couldn't yeah. too much. But I had to hustle my way yeah. out. But all this, yeah. yeah. So after I finished, uh, then I had to travel to uh, Nigeria. Mm-hmm. And uh, from Nigeria, I had to come to Germany. So tell me a little bit about that. You went from the, the journey from Asene to right now in Amsterdam. That's like a, a serious journey. Yeah, it was a transitional because I first went to uh, uh, Germany yeah. where I met my late wife mm-hmm. uh, in school because mm-hmm. I, I was schooling the, the oh, you call it Oxgo Oxgo Schule. That is, you learn the language and from okay. that you can choose whatever uh, Career you want to carry, okay. or you want to do it. I met my wife there, and mm-hmm. we thought it fitting to come to uh, the Netherlands because my 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 brother and my siblings were living in Germany, yeah. and we wa- didn't want to live among them. Okay. And uh, her, her siblings were living in England, mm-hmm. and we didn't want to go there, because so we, we chose a <laughs> neutral well, ground. Obviously, she became your wife, but at first, Mama wasn't your wife. So exactly. So, um, how did you like? What? How did you win her over? Like, what? What? You saw her, and then what happened? You know what happened was that uh, I was living in a, a, a house where she came to look for a certain girl, a certain girl, a friend of hers. Okay. But that friend of hers wasn't around. Okay. So, I saw her to be a very beautiful girl. So I, mm-hmm. I tried to woo her with uh, with uh, with love and. Uh, Tell, tell. So what did you do? Did, did you uh, in, initially, initially I think it was just a friendship. Okay. A friendship, then it developed into okay. uh, something else. And so okay. I didn't propose to her that I love her or yeah, something, yeah. but but we became friends. Okay. And we were visiting ourselves. Yeah. One of the pictures I saw back then when I was younger is you had like those type Afro, of yeah, Afro yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know those type of vibes, but yeah, Kelly, yeah. what were you like as a teenager? Like, were you like calm? Were you more uh, outspoken? I was very were calm. I, I became very vibrant when I went to school because when I was a kid mm-hmm. and I was in my uh, elementary, like basic school, yeah. I was very quiet guy. You ask me questions, it only, uh, unless you ask me question before yeah. I'll, 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 I'll answer. Talk. Okay. But I was always. First in my class, I was mm-hmm. first in, the, and that because of that, I thought it fitting that you know my quietness is not making me any any better socially. Mm-hmm. So I thought that okay, when I went to I went to screen school mm-hmm. in Ghana, if you go to screen school, you go to a neutral ground. Mm-hmm. We 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 are in the boarding house all the time. Yeah. you know it's not like here where you go, you come home, you go come, you you go and stay in the school. So yeah. I I said okay, I made a vow to myself that. I'm going to be very vocal. I'm going so to change you, my. So you switched. Demeanor, yeah. Okay. I switched off straight. Did that help? It helped me a lot. Okay. Yeah, it helped me a lot. Socially. 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 socially and what uh, about what about like uh, at school itself? Because oftentimes, well, out of my experience, the quiet people in the class are like the the nerds like they, they have the highest scores or you know the they're very good in, in in school in grades and i was in between i was not too quiet but i was also not the the yeah. wildest um but yeah you switched so you could be socially more you know uh, um, no, no still scary school i was quiet so uh, at this at this, at this moment uh, we have whatsapp we have group group chat, we mm-hmm. group chat. How? 
uh, on, on WhatsApp with, my, now, with, with my mates. Okay. Yeah. What, what they knew about, about me was quietness. Mm -hmm. quiet, but on the platform, I'm the vibrant. Mm -hmm. Everything I'm there, everywhere. Okay. You see, do they, they wonder how <laughs> I change. could change yeah. to that extent? Okay. All right. So then you came to Holland. Um, you started a family. Um, how was it like raising six kids? I'm very cool and I'm very tolerating. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't difficult for me because I have much love. I had love for my kids, mm -hmm. so I could. I could uh, coordinate with them a lot. Mm -hmm. When somebody does something wrong, I know how to get tell it. Mm -hmm. Unless when we become stubborn and you don't listen to me, then I get very drastic with the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, I, I'm. Cool I remember. Guy. I remember one. No, two times. I remember two times. I was one time. I was six. Listen, you know, one time I was six. And I said, um, we're living in Chaim. Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember. You remember? Yeah. And I, 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 I beat you. Yeah, and I said, Suko. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, Suko. Yeah. And it, that was, that was. You know that time you said the Suko? You. I don't know what happened. You, no, you, you were, you, you were, you, I was training you. Yeah. In football. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Then, uh, I think somebody, you, you couldn't play the way I wanted you to play. Yeah. So you got, I, I, I really pounced on you, yeah. not beating you, but yeah. I was very uh, hard at you at, at yeah. that time. Yeah. So you became angry and yeah. you told me, circle. I didn't beat you that time, but I brought you home. <laughs> and that's when I beat you, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so it was. And I still remember that yeah, till yeah, today. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I ran the corner, I, I ran the gangway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, remember, I still yeah, remember. And then, but I remember only once. I don't, I, I, no, I because one time again, I was 14, and I don't know I don't know what I said. I don't remember what I said, but I also remember how it went. It was in also but yeah. in, uh, in Freeland. Freeland Plain. Freeland Plain, yeah, Freeland yeah. Plain. It was in the Khan, and I said something, and you... You know, Joke. smacked me like you know, <laughs> like like I was jokingly or no, so, no. Seriously. What, what I said, you mean? No, no I mean how how you slept? Smack, yeah. No, it was, <laughs> if it was joking, I won't remember today. Yeah, yeah. No, it was serious. It was serious. So, just those two times, actually. That's, I remember only once, but just yeah. just for two. And uh, yeah, no, that was it. Two times, two okay. times. But of course, you will correct me more times. But I must say I was not I was not the I was not too stubborn as far as yeah, I know. Yeah, I was yeah, not no, like no, no. Uh, you know, so the, the two way. two is alright. I mean I know kids they get every every two days beatings, you know. Like but, like Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> like Lorraine, yeah. Before yeah. I used to get a lot. But not from you, more from Mama. More from Mama, yeah. yeah. But me I was I was yeah. school with the kids. Yeah. I quite remember uh, you know, when we go to visit some people and it was only you and uh, 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 Lorraine that time, because Mama was very hard, mm -hmm. very very disciplinary. Mm -hmm. So when 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 I'm sitting here, let's say we have a bench, and Mama is sitting here, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting here, nobody will go close to Mama, mm -hmm. but all of you will be struggling yeah. to close. Clo I don't know whether yeah. you remember that one. No, I don't. Everybody know. will. Be, you 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 and uh, uh, Lorraine will be fighting to yeah. get closer to her, and because. Mm -hmm. Mama, he would, he would explain. Yeah, especially explain. Lorraine. Especially, especially Lorraine. Lorraine, yeah. So, obviously, I'm a father. I have three kids. What would you advise me or anyone, any father, um, in this time and in this age, um, how to be a good father? Uh, I, in this era of, uh, of the centuries, uh, some lo so many things have changed. Have changed. And, uh, you know, you know at a particular time, uh, point in time, you will know what a child is doing. So what I'm really insisting for you to be cautious about is how they do things secretly, or with their computer, with their telephone, their iPad. You know, you have to get to know what, yeah. they, what they are in for. Mm -hmm. And and uh, one thing, one more, more important thing is to show them love. Let them know that they love them. Mm -hmm. But Discipline them when they go wrong. How how do you show them love? Because, to be honest, in a lot of especially not even just African black people homes, we don't always say I love you, or we don't always say we don't we don't we don't express it yeah. too often. So how do you 
show your kids you love them? I, I, attention. Mm -hmm. You have to pay attention, more attention to them. When they, they come to you with a question, mm -hmm. see to that you, 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 give, you give them the right answer. Mm -hmm. Don't be brushing things off anyhow. So brush things off all the time, you know, it, it, it trigger the child or inflict some thought of uh, hate or, or, or irresponsibility yeah, yeah. to the kids. So okay. try to be very attentive mm -hmm. and pay more attention to their needs. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Yeah. So giving attention is one of the basic yeah, ex ex uh, ex ex expressions of yeah. love. Okay. And uh, w w you have to also know the character of every child. Mm -hmm. I quite I quite remember one time I I call all all of you especially especially uh, I think Whitney and uh, Lorraine. I told them, I, I was telling somebody, whether mama or not, that I've known all the, their characters. If Lorraine goes to marry and he comes home with the, with the problem, I know I will know whether he is, she's the cause of the problem or, or she's not the one, because it depending on the, the instinct or the, the extent of the problem, mm -hmm. because I've grown up with them and I know what everybody can do, mm -hmm. qua character. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've grown to with uh, uh, Whitney to know what she can also do. So if a man comes home and uh, portrays the character of Whitney to me for what she's doing, I will know whether the man, uh, Whitney did it or not because I know their their, their countenance mm -hmm. and what they can do at the, at, at a particular time. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you think it's it's harder to raise kids up in this generation? Or it was harder in your time. It it wasn't harder in our time because our time was a a free life. You know, sometimes I'll be in the house. My father would not know I'm in the house. You see what I'm saying? So he would be careless of what we are doing mm -hmm. because we 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 live in a compound house. But here we are we are all intact. Mm -hmm. So you know what is prevailing in everybody in every situation yeah. with your child. Mm -hmm. Because when 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 I said I, I was growing up with my my grandmommy, so I'll go out play. We we, we we don't go to football school like how you what you are here. Yeah. But you everybody goes out and yeah. if there's football you play. Yeah. If there's no football you try to walk around and. Yeah and uh, it's play. More, it's play. more free as More free, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So that's how it is. But here, the, 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 it's more intact. We are more inside with your parents. Everything yeah. that is going on, everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. But I'll be doing something, my father will not know it. If you have to pick one, what will be your favorite part of being a father? The, my, my favorite part, exactly, is, you know, as a father, you'll be proud to know that you have attain something for the gifts of your of, of your children mm -hmm. like building a house for the though they don't live there building a house for them so that if they go on holidays they have a place to live mm -hmm. and they'll be proud to know that this the the, the legacy of my father mm -hmm. and that makes me feel proud very well what is the most challenging thing of being a father the most challenge, uh, ch challenging thing is when you have the kids Mm -hmm. And nobody could attain any useful thing in life. Mm -hmm. You become sad. Of course, you have to. The Bible says, "Train up a child in the way he should go. When he's old, will not, he or she or he will not depart from it." So it's our responsibility as a parent to raise them up and to train them and to you know guide them. But still, they need to make the choice themselves. You know, yeah, so. yeah, I know. That's why I say that if at least if they don't make the right choice and they waver, mm -hmm. you see, that that will be your, your hard time. Because if they don't waver and they choose the right way, it will be your 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 delight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the the challenge is when at least you you school them, you 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 ask them to go to school to uh, educate themselves, and they they don't end up. Being, being a good child or to achieve something in the, their life as their career yeah. and the waver in life. Yeah. That, is, that is a challenge. Okay. What are, um, what are um, values or principles you live by? It depends on, on what, what, what you demand from me. Yeah, so for what I mean with that is like, 
Um, because we have morality, ethics, mm -hmm. courteousness, and all those things. Mm -hmm. So if you, you ask me about the violence of a child, mm -hmm. then it, 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 it has to be the fact that the child is becoming a mora mo morally good. Mm -hmm. Ethically, he's, he's, he's good because you have to have respect, for, not for only their parents, but for other other people, people. also, mm -hmm. and morally, you have to know that uh, you don't have to roam about with women and all these things because that one also can peddle your life. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you concentrate more on women than or, or men, then you cannot attain what is ahead of you mm -hmm. most of the times. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very respectful, have morals, and ethically, you have to be good. Why am I called Jeffrey? Like, who decided my name? What was the... Your, your name, Jeffrey, was given to you by my senior brother called Dr. Sapon. Mm -hmm. When Mama was pregnant with you, we, we traveled to Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, we asked him the name, preferably has to be given to you. Then you want to check in the book. What book? Which book? Uh, you know, it would book with the different name names. Books, okay. and and, and he got this name and he thought it sort of it was biblical, which is which the meaning of it is God's friend, God's friend, mm -hmm. God's friend. And uh, Germanically, uh, 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 it, 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 if we extract it from a German meaning, it means that uh, the Jeffrey is mean uh, 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 district. District is the place mm -hmm. and, and a peace. Peaceful, mm -hmm. so it means a peaceful place. Mm -hmm. But in English, way or biblically, it's God, God, it's God's friend, okay. the friend of, of God. Yeah. So now you know why I'm called Jeffrey. Yeah, <laughs> it's God's friend. Okay. Yeah. And uh, my uh, my Ghanaian name. Yeah, you were born on Wednesday, so, so you are called Koku automatically. Okay. So every Ghanaian, it's as it's called Koku, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the moment he mentions Koku, yeah. every you Ghanaian know, know that he was born okay. on. And uh, uh, okay. a lot of Monday. times, a lot of times, people ask me why I don't speak Chui, and I explain that when I grew up, uh, of course, my father's from Ghana. Yeah, so I'll right. explain one more time. My father's from Ghana. My mother from Nigeria. Yeah. So at home, we yeah. spoke English, English yeah. because my mother didn't speak Chui, and my father didn't English. speak Igbo. Right. Yeah, yeah, Igbo. So we spoke English. More than Dutch, yeah. to be to be honest. So that's the reason I don't speak Chui. Of course, I can learn it, but you know, we, it's we, not. We, we, we didn't speak it up now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Andrew, some some guy, so, and then you speak Chui or not? He speak Chui, but uh, uh, broken Chui. It's okay. It's, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay. So then it's easier. Because yeah. Then you yeah. Have, you know, two two parents. But what okay. pains me more is uh, not teaching Emmanuel. Because I'm more used to English, speaking mm. English, you see. So I couldn't bring in Chi because I was living with him alone. Mm. And it was it was a chance for me to speak Chi yeah. to him more of the time. And he goes often to, to Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. yeah, he's been to Ghana almost six times or so. Yeah. yeah, but this time he, he went to live in the village. I was living in a they, they don't speak English. They, they speak Chi. Yeah. So he picks out, he picks it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. What is one thing that you have achieved so far that you're really proud of? I first wanted to go to university in uh, America, mm -hmm. but something cropped up mm -hmm. that made me come to Germany. And when I came here, I had to uh, do a lot of courses and uh, become behavior in in in, in, the, in, com in the in the company. But I wanted to go further, but because my wife passed on, I had to take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. So that has been. Uh, my achievement of is to at least I could become a, a manager in a company. And uh, what is one thing that you really can stand? What I don't like exactly is to see somebody cheating somebody, okay. a, vulnerable, a vulnerable person, okay. and it goes more with the pastors. Okay. <laughs> I'm too much against them. Serious, okay. I have to be frank. Okay. I can't stand pastors who extort <laughs> money from people. Mm -hmm. Really, I've been campaigning on my WhatsApp mm -hmm. against this type of rhetoric all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, because and is this something recently or since way back? 
it, it has been rampant now. Mm -hmm. Before it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. But we, we have a lot of crooks mm -hmm. in this pastoral destiny. Because especially I'm, I'm talking of in Ghana perspective, mm -hmm. we, there's so many ha, I have cropped up who are thieves, mm -hmm. who are deceptives, who cheat vulnerables. And when I hear about them, and they are fake pastors, uh, faking prophecies, mm -hmm. just to make themselves like they are heroes with the, with the, with the word of God, mm -hmm. while it's not so. Mm -hmm. And when I hear about it, because most of their prophecies, it fails. Most of their prophecies fail. Mm -hmm. You see, they feign a lot of prophetic uh, uh, inspiration to others, and the vulnerables and the gullibles believe it. But along the line, you see that what they prophesied for, have, uh, they, are, uh, they have failed. So, so what the, the thing that you really can stand is? Lies, you know, deception. Yeah. Deception and yeah, lies, yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. When people, when especially vulnerable people are taking advantage, advantage of them. Taking advantage of them, that is very terrible. Yeah. Because some people are suffering, a lot of people are suffering, but they deepen their suffering, suffering too mm -hmm. much. Because yeah. the more they, they, they extort money from them, the more they get poorer and poorer. So then what must be done, in your opinion? Because there are also good pastors. That's that, what I say, fake pastors. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, so what must be done? Must the good pastors rise? Must the fake pastors be eliminated? Must you become a pastor and show the way? I, I, I cannot become a... <laughs> I cannot, I, what I can become is a motivational speaker. Okay. I, I think I, I can be more motivational to people yeah. than to be a pastor. Okay. I'm not, I don't have that calling. Yeah. yeah, I have to be frank. But, <laughs> okay. but to motivate people to attain or, or, or to be, get away from the disappointment in life, that I can do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to inspire people to achieve what they desire to do. Yeah. So something like Road Talk, George. Yeah, exactly. Right. Football wise, you. Um, who, of course, you had Pele. Pele was your time. I was kid from Brazil. I was no? a kid. Okay. But yeah, I, just, but I mean, I, just I mean, the name, yeah. I mean, but you saw him play. Or I not? didn't see him. Okay. Those times, we, we never had Maradona. You saw him yeah, play. Of course, yeah. yeah. I saw him play. You saw Ronaldinho play. Ronaldinho, yeah. And you're seeing Messi. He's play. an entertainer. Yeah. Football entertainer. Yeah. And you're, you're seeing Messi play. Yeah. I'm not talking about. I know you don't like Ronaldo too much. But you can bring. I tell you my reason why I don't like him. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so who who would be your favorite uh, player? Quite quite entertaining mm -hmm. with football because you can watch the football. You don't expect goal, but you you, you want to see the skills. Yeah, I would choose Ronaldinho. Okay, because he was a football entertainer, mm -hmm. and he can do anything with the ball. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to seriousness with football mm -hmm. and talent, I would choose Messi. Okay, yeah, above Maradona, above. Pele. Maradona, what, what, because Maradona, in your time, was what, 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 was what, the what, best. What, was it, but but later, I we, I don't know other players because their own hasn't been unveiled. Mm -hmm. I see unraveled. Mm -hmm. You got like uh, Maradona. I he was a very good player, but later we, it was discovered that he was using. Mm -hmm. Drugs, mm -hmm. so that doesn't make him a, a, a footballer or a good well, footballer. Well, but it, that it the energy he had an energy yeah. through the drugs, but he had the talent. Yeah, because, he had the talent. Yeah. yeah, because if you have you don't have the talent, <laughs> yeah, you use drugs, the, it will not work. Yeah. but he was a good player energetically. He was he was a very good player. Okay, or there was a, but you the, still choose Messi over. I would choose Messi Maradona. because of it's. He's a very calm guy. He's not braggadocious. Mm -hmm. Braggadocious. Mm -hmm. He's somebody. He can go on with everybody. I think so. Mm -hmm. Quite well, respect and yeah, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's not. He's not so proud of even when he's being chosen the best player. He's still mm -hmm. the best himself. Yeah. The Ronaldinho, uh, Ronaldo. Is, uh, is somebody. In the, he could be a good fo footballer, but. He worked towards. He, to, he worked. Towards, yeah. He wasn't so much talented, but he he, he had a desire to be a best mm -hmm. player, mm -hmm. and he worked towards it. Mm -hmm. But the pride in him is what I don't like, yeah. because I want humility. Mm 
yeah. in life. Yeah. No matter what I achieve, you have to be humble. Yeah. That, yeah. Is, that is the best in, 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 in every person. But what is humility, though? I mean, if... Because what I also know from even some players I played with who played with him, that he is in, in person, like with you know, his teammates and uh, with people around him, he's a humble person. But the, the same with Mourinho. I met Mourinho twice and we spoke and he was very humble in person. But when you see him on TV and his interviews, you'll be like, you know, he's, he's arrogant and, and, and stuff like that. So sometimes the media also... But we get people by exposure because what I don't yeah. see, I can't yeah. judge well. Yeah. So, so that's why I ask, what is humility? What, 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 is, what, what does it mean to be humble? To be humble is that when somebody is, is, is humble, is the, the way he acts. Mm -hmm. That is by exposure, mm -hmm. you know, because you will not see him in the uh, uh, dressing room to know his right actions. Mm -hmm. But when he comes out and what he exposes or what he, he, he does in, in, on, on the field or when, when he scores or his demeanor mm -hmm. in that aspect yeah. is what makes him humble for me. But, but be, behind the scene, don't know. I don't know what, 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 what happens. Okay. Okay. Music, who are your favorite artists or who, back then and now? And one thing is, well, with me, I don't have actually favorite artists, but I, as, as long as the music sounds good, sounds good. Okay. I don't, I, I, the beat alone, you know, it, it, it brings me joy. As, far, as long as it brings me joy mm -hmm. and I listen to dance with it, it's okay for me. Mm -hmm. Because in uh, but at, at the moment, I could choose uh, in Ghana, Kwame Eugene, I think maybe you, you have heard his name before. No. Kwame Eugene. You? Yeah, okay, well, I... <laughs> of course. I don't, I don't listen too much to... Yeah. Uh, Ga 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 Kwame Eugene and... Uh, uh, Kidi, eh? Kidi. Yeah, Kidi. Yeah, Kidi. Kidi and uh, some other stuff, yeah. So this is Afro, more Afro... Yeah, yeah they, they, Afro are very, they are very good. You listen to... I will, I will let him, you know, do some... some uh, select some music with, for me on Spot, Spotify. And yeah, Spotify? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought you only had YouTube. No, no, I have YouTube and I have Spotify. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, <laughs> good to know. And uh, do you listen to hip hop? Not really. No, that's that's not no, your. No, 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 no. <laughs> With this type of your dancing, uh, uh, with your legs and all those things. Yeah. Only, only I like to dance. You know, I, yeah. I, I, I like to dance a lot. Yeah. yeah. You like to see people dancing a lot. See people but to, dancing, but, yeah, I, but to dance, we have to like ask you ten times. It, no, before okay, you okay, let's, move. let's say I like to see people dance. Yeah. I can go to a party until the party is closed because of the music. Yeah, I will never go home. Yeah, I will never but you, go. But you, you won't be the one on the. No, no, I used to, I dance also because normally my mama used to dance a lot, mm. and uh, and Tatianita also like to dance, so they will force you even to go and dance. Yeah, but we also, the kids also force you a lot of times, and you just say, no, you, you dance. And, and you know one thing, I'm a shy of guy, you know. Yeah, so. No, no, that's one thing. Everybody loves to, people see, to see people dance. Yeah, but I like to see these young guys, man. I, I like to go to your parties, man. Weddings, <laughs> what? There's the new style all together with, the, with you guys. Yeah. yeah. But you, you're a good dancer, but when it comes to dancing publicly, you don't do it. You don't show it. No, because I, I remember when I was six, you asked me what do you want to become. Yeah. I was dancing, yeah. and, and, I, uh, and I chose football. So dancing, we no, but we, dancing we, is we within, behind. Is within, we behind. No, 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 it's no within. but you you grow in it. You learn. You you develop skills. If you but, don't, but you still you have it. Yeah, but you see, last year when we went to uh, the Christmas, how you were dancing with? <coughs> yeah, Zoe, I know. It was very nice. I know. They're very entertaining, and I like to see those type of things. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it a lot. You see, see, you said see, you know. But to dance, you be like that. No, no, no. But it is what it is. At least you 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 enjoy either way, whether you dance or you watch. It's about the enjoyment. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and uh, and like soul and worship and R and B and jazz. You know, it's more Afro that you. Get yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But some of the worship <coughs> is, is, uh, Michael W. Smith, you like? 
He told me, oh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool means you can yeah. worship and all those things. It's very good. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. And uh, C.C. Winans and all those yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. C.C. Winans, legend. Yeah. And Nigerian have some also good musicians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the worship and praises. Yeah. And I listen to it a lot, yeah. Which church do you go to now? I don't go to church. No? No. Why? I'll tell you my reason. You know, we go to church to love and to help people. Mm -hmm. Apart from with the view that you want to go to heaven, we, within ourselves, we have to be a helping mate. Mm -hmm. We have to be helping mate to other people. But you know, what I learned is uh, when the corona came, mm -hmm. I voted out some, some, uh, some money, say, let all, everybody contribute or to help to contribute uh, uh, with it. We have about 80 people boys, but nobody no, nobody uh, uh, agreed to it. Nobody even answered me, except only one boy. So what, when it happens that, uh, okay... You mean you ask people in the church? In the church, yeah. To help? People? Yeah, so that we, some people don't have job. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have papers. Mm -hmm. Some people uh, can't pay their rent during the hard times of COVID. Yeah, yeah. So, we, the people who can be able to help others, mm -hmm. we have to show them love at that time. Mm -hmm. And nobody could portray that type of love. And uh, hey, why do you think? Is it because they didn't have? I don't think, but, but uh, they respond, respond to my request. Mm -hmm. If you do, if you respond, oh, okay, or oh, I don't have, or oh, I have maybe this amount, okay, any little amount counts. Mm -hmm. But if nobody responds, then what, what does it entail? You see, there's no love. Because the, the, the question is, uh, of my request is people are suffering, so the less help. And if you don't help and you go to church and you come and portray your love and all those things, I, I find it very clear. Okay. So, so I don't want to interrogate with people like that. And moreover, what I believe more is the de deeds. You know, God's, when you read the Bible, you, be, you say you are a Christian, and you don't give portrait of being a Christian, but you think you are going to heaven because you go to church, then you mean you're a liar for me. No, but, but that's not what the Bible says, though. You, you don't go to heaven because you, you go to church. Oh, no, you, that's, according that's, to the Bible, you have to believe in the, in, in the, in the uh, it's a crucifixion of, of Jesus. Yeah, you, but you believe in the crucifixion of Jesus alone, doesn't make you a, a, a good Christian, but at least you have to. No, go, it's like it's like go, going to church. It's not like you do that to go to fellowship. Heaven. Go to going to church is what you do as a Christian. Like the reason, for example, I go to church is to grow in my faith. Is to fellowship with the brethren. Is to receive the word the Lord has for me for that day or for that week or at that moment. Is to um, um, worship and praise the Lord. Like, it's, there's, a different, there's a different anointing or a different setting in, in church than at home. But I don't believe that you have to go to church alone to worship God. You no, know, I'm, I'm not saying alone that, yeah. like, I'm not saying you, you go to church to worship God and that's the only place you can worship Him. That's not what I'm saying because even Jesus said you should worship me in spirit and in truth. Yeah, exactly. Anywhere. I believe in but, that more. Yeah, but the Bible also says do not... Um, ignore the the fellowship of the brethren so there is there is a power there is a blessing in going to church like going the one thing we confuse also is, is church is not a perfect place the moment i step in church it seems to be perfect because i'm imperfect so if i want to go to a perfect church that means that nobody should be there because nobody is perfect so that's one thing i i think we 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 forget it's like when i go to church i do not go to like a perfect place or i go to like you know uh, see perfect people or expect perfect things no i'm going there to to know more about the lord to grow in my faith to to worship the lord to to extend uh to have an extension of what i receive privately when i pray in my room and worship you know we can have church here but being in the in the presence of the lord where more people are and where you know you 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 fellowship with the brethren it's a blessing but i understand what you're saying from the other side that you know when 
of course there are fake fake church, fake pastors and stuff like that and there are also um, you know like the example you gave moments where you don't do what you're supposed to do as a Christian which is to love which is to help which is to you know to to show the love of Christ to others so I agree I definitely agree on that part if you, if you have love you can you can you you, you can uh, believe or, or do everything about the Ten Commandments. You can abide by the Ten Commandments. Love will make you abide by Ten Commandments, all the Ten Commandments, if you have love. But if you don't have love, even to help your neighbor self, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah, I, I agree, but you know, it's, it's, you know, the Bible says God is love. So it's impossible or it's, it's hard to love others if you don't have the essence of love, which is God, you know, so even Jesus said, love God and love your neighbor as yourself, what you're saying. So, you know, try, and, and trying to love others without loving God is also not... Then, then what, what, what can you say about the, the slave trade? The, 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 imagine, you know, when you are going to, these children, you know, Whitney and Lauren, you know, where, where they were trading uh, for slaves. Yeah. In Ghana, the Cape Coast Castle, if you go there, in yeah. fact, you weep. And you ask yourself, why, why did they bring the Bible? Because below, uh, uh, underneath, are the slaves crying, groaning. Yeah. And above them, yeah. they are singing yeah. Holy Ghost things yeah. and all those things. Yeah. What, what does it entail? Yeah, that's, that's, that's terrible. It's yeah, horrible. So, so, so they brought a Bible for us. For, to just be, and when they were exploiting us mm -hmm. with the Bible, they used as mis as missionaries to come and exploit us. I know. And after they have attained their goals, mm -hmm. they, they they they've thrown the Bible away. Mm -hmm. If you go to London, most of the churches are turning into into discotheques and all those things, mm -hmm. factories and everything. While in Africa now they are uh, changing uh, uh, factories and discotheques into churches. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see the dif difference? Yeah, but for, for example, the example with the, what you're saying with the, 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 slaves. the slaves. That's terrible. That's horrible. And, but that's not something new. You know, that's not something like, wow, that's, that's, that's not something new. What the enemy does is he oftentimes uses something that looks good for his own agenda. So it's he, he did it right from the start with the, with the fruit. It's something that looks good, but with the wrong agenda. So that, them using the Bible does not mean that the Bible is bad or that God is is, is whatever. No God. God, it, no, it means, God exists. The God exists. Yeah, it means that they used it for their own agenda. They even the, the enemy, the devil did it with Jesus. If if you are the son of God, tell. Uh, this 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 stone to become bread. If you are the son of God, jump from there. So he used the scriptures. For example, the, the the angels will catch you if you fall, and he twists it for his own good. Because I quite remember when I was young, my grandmama was telling me that uh, you can, if you go to farm, you can leave your your, your door open. Nobody will come and steal anything. But if, if we now, but now. Whether even in the in the church, if you leave your mobile phone in the church, if you don't take it before you come, or you you have to turn your eyes before you come, it's, it's, before you turn it on, it's, 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 it's gone. Mm -hmm. It happens in the church. Why should it happen that way? But in those time, in those days, you you, you go to farm, you see somebody's uh, plantain, which is striped, you see, and you come and tell the owner that oh his plantain is ripe, so he, he should go and. Cut it and mm -hmm. bring it home. Mm -hmm. They were doing the right thing, mm -hmm. but now it's not like that. It's not like it, that anymore. It is. It is. Oh, but but the percentage. We will try the percentage. The yeah, sin is too. We, we, the sin. The sin is too much. Yeah. It's too much. But now that we 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 go to church, we worship God, we praise Him. But when we come home, we are different people altogether. So what what are the in, impact? What is the impact of us going to church? Just to learn and forget. Or to try to practice it. Yeah, of course. Huh? That's the second. Yeah, exactly. It's, and, uh, and that's a good thing. I'm really against it. Yeah, that's a good because thing. Because a lot of people are suffering in in, in this world. Mm -hmm. And people, how can how can pastors use Lamborghini, use expensive cars, 
And pe some people are, are trotting to go to church. They are walking to go to church. What is the sense in it? It doesn't make sense. Pastors are using jet. You know, there are sometimes, because of all these things, it, is, it doesn't make me, it, it doesn't make the church for me holy. Because they go there and sin more. They, they've been sleeping with women all, all the time. It's very bad. Mm -hmm. It's very bad. Yeah. What is the sense in it? I, I agree. I, those yeah. things are good. But what I'm trying to say is that... So the, we... the so church <laughs> is in you. Oh, no. Church is within you. You yeah. are the church yourself. You have to avail yourself mm -hmm. to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. You have to avail yourself to delight. When you have the church in you, everything you do, you, it goes according to the, 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 the instructions of God. But you don't have to go to church and listen to the pastor. At the end of the day, you see the pastor doing the right thing. You don't have to go to the wrong church. Well, we, 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 how can you know the right church? Oh, the, of course you can know. The, the, it's like, like, when, like in everything, there is fake and there is real. Yeah, but when the, so, when the, the one you termed right, he's very, he's very, those people are very sensible. Dedicated people, when they are duping, you know, but they're illiterate, they make it very obvious. So you catch them, you think they are fake. But we have, like Ghana, we have educated ones who, who are building schools, and even the school, the, the church members cannot go because of the expense of it. The, 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 uh, at the end of the day, when the man dies, is the, is, the, is the child who takes over, or the wife who takes over. But church is not meant like that. It's not a, it shouldn't be one man church. Okay, so name one church that you, you, you think is good. Uh, uh, the you know, when I was a child, and we are going to church, now the, the pastors talk about profane more than anything in the mm -hmm. church. In, in our time, you never hear a prophet being vulgar, being talking about profanic things. Mm -hmm. No profanity. Everything is right about salvation, right about the Bible, helping themselves. On Saturdays, you see the pastor going from houses to houses to, to check the, the people, the, the, uh, uh, the congregation, if everybody is okay. They, they used to come to my grandmother's house a lot, the, the pastor, come and greet, greet my mother, especially when he, he did, she doesn't attend to church the, the, the previous uh, Sunday. Then they will come to know what is wrong, or because that time there was no telephone. So they go uh, uh, in the mornings to visit them. And that's what, what I call the, the real worship of, of, of or doing the right thing of God. You see, showing love to each other. Well, it's, all, it's clear. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's very clear what my dad detests and abhors and doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask one more thing. And you can look to your camera. Yeah. What you would like to tell the people, or share any advice, any you know thing you have on your heart to the people watching that you would like to tell. The 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 what I would really is within my heartfelt desire is uh, to really appreciate everything God has done for you. And in life, you have to be very focused. If you have focus in life, and the focus goes with an effort, effort is embroidered with persistency and dedication. When you have all this thing, everything you want to achieve in your life, you, 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 you get it. And be more attentive to your children, love them. You don't have to give them everything they want, but let them know that this is good for you, that is not good for you, so that you raise up a good children and be more serious with their education because education is the key to success and that will help you and the family and the child himself and that's a good advice and be careful of fake pastors <laughs> and uh, don't let pastors extort money in the name of God from you because God doesn't need our money but he, he wants to bless us to be rich but we can't bless God to be rich so don't be so derailed with your belief. Thank you. Yes, thank you all for checking, watching. Um, as I said before, I hope you all inspired and blessed uh, by obviously the wise words from my dad. Um, stay tuned, more to come. 
and don't forget to subscribe to like and all and all of that and we'll see you next time peace